Hi, it's Cassidy, and today we're going to talk about gel liners. But first of all, I have to apologize for my lighting. Um, it's getting kind of dark outside. I wasn't going to film a video today, but I decided to, and it's getting kind of late, and so my lighting isn't all the best, and I don't really know what to do to fix it. So we're going to go with it. And hopefully I finish this video before it gets too dark. So first of all, I'm going to talk about gel liners today. And I'm going to give like my local prices down in the bottom bar. Okay. And I'm going to talk about three gel liners. The first gel liner, this is not the first one I got, but this is the lowest price. Um, it's the Wet n Wild. Every, it looks like this. I haven't used very much of it because I honestly don't like this. I heard tons of people rave about it. But for me, and it dries up really quickly. It dries up. If you can see that, it dries up really quickly. People on YouTube compare this to the MAC Flood Line, which I will go over later. And I really think this is not even a close comparison. It was, I got it on sale for only $2. And so it is worth it if you're just getting into makeup and don't know. But I wouldn't really want to buy this ever again and I probably won't ever use it. The second gel liner that I want to mention is one that is a little is a lot better. It's still not as good as the MAC but it is a close comparison. It's better than the Wet n Wild but not as good as a MAC. It is the Maybelline Eye Studio. I happen to have this one in purple. Because purple is my favorite color. Because I... This is the first one I ever bought. And the color payoff... It's... I love... I... Let it dry out a lot. I love the thing open for a day. Don't ever do that. Note to self. Okay. Okay. And the third comparison that I'm going to talk about today is the MAC Fluid Line. This is the best gel liner that I have ever used. I have used one other one, but I haven't used it that much, so I can't really compare. But this is the black track. This is like the blackest black that MAC has. This was my second gel liner ever. My first black one. This is stuff is amazing. This stuff and this stuff don't compare. So you will see tons of videos on YouTube about these two are very similar. No. Don't waste your money on this. Um, you can get this if you want to practice with gel liner and not comfortable with it. But I would highly recommend just go ahead and spending the $15 on the Black Track Mac. Okay, so quickly I'm going to go over two brushes. I'm going to go over what the lady at the Mac counter sold me when I first purchased my gel liner. And I'm going to go over my favorite brush to use. And no, I do not have a gel liner on today because my brush was dirty. But I will talk to you. I will tell you what she told me to use. She told me to use the MAC 266. For me, this did this brush is good. I like this brush. It is very similar to the Sigma brush. And I totally forgot the number. I will post that link in the bottom bar. 
the stigma equivalent to this brush. And I will um, put a link to my blog on there. And I will have pictures of both on there and give you the prices on both. Okay. This is the MAC 266 and this is what she told me to use. To me, this was good, but it wasn't... It almost made me want to give up gel liner in general. So I found on YouTube other people talking about this Sonia Cache brush you can buy at Target. This is like six dollars, somewhere around there. And I and this brush is amazing. It has the small pointy tip. It is amazing. Precise line. And I will just take this back. And I will show you the difference on these on these lines. My hand's gonna be all dirty. This brush is kind of dirty, so it's not really that good a comparison. That, and plus, I just dipped it in the other one. As you can see, the, especially on the waterline, this, this one clean does a really amazing job. I have never been able to get the look I want on the waterline with this brush. But unfortunately with the eyeliner brushes, you really have to wash them every day. And that is probably why I struggle wearing eyeliner every day because I don't wash them like I know I should. It takes like two minutes. Yes. Okay, well, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will um, talk to you all later. Bye.